Good morning everybody and this is your S&P 500 day trade setups for today. So we have closed below some structure and uh, that is right here at the swing high which is 4081 and next bit of structure would be roughly around there and then we have a little bit lower down we have this tail here as well bear in mind we've got a few gaps to the downside there's one glaringly obvious there and I think there's one or two um, others on lower time frames in this area right now we are fairly close to this uh, 4052 so let's just round it off to 4050 Oslo ladders have ripped the upside we are in an uptrend moving averages um, are pointing up although they are starting to roll a little bit um, but for me we're above the 155 EMA so trend is still up this should be seen as a pullback buyers are coming in you can see the buyers coming in with these tails here obviously on the eight hour we want to see a close above the pin bars before we start getting too excited so just dropping down through the time frame three hour uh, we had a fairly decent move down on structure a bit of a retracement and uh, didn't get as high as I was expecting I was actually looking for something a little bit higher than and what we got for an opportunity to short, but uh, short was the right call. And you see it didn't really get moving, um, but then got a bit volatile. So pretty interesting with a pin bar here, uh, just below the structure. You can see we just missed this next level here. Look at the diversion that is forming. So what you want to be doing is um, just figure out why that diversion is there. It's looking like a bit of a flag. Trend is down on the hour. Oscillators are grouped to downside, so I uh, don't really want to be be shorting at the moment. Uh, we're looking a little bit tired. I still want to be shorting higher up, uh, and you can see uh, we are sort of in a downtrend on the hour. So short is the right call. Probably. 4081 is probably the first option, uh, but if we start breaking above this, then I'd expect a move back up to there, and then that changes the picture a little bit. Well, not a little bit, changes the picture completely. So let's just have a look at the fifth, uh, 15 minute. Wasn't really much structure to the left, I suppose. The only one that you can put in was the original low of the morning when we opened and you can see we tested it twice and then there was a fairly decent rejection um, during the US session here that was probably the only one uh, and then the other one would have been just draw the trend line but that trend line if I actually draw it properly you can see that was a break above it so a little bit of a, a difficult one trend is down short was the right call trend is still down short is still the call so I'm just going to add a few more levels in here. So this low of, when was this? This is Tuesday. So this low of Tuesday is probably um, in play at 4074, 4080. And then this level is still in play as well, um, which is 4092. So you're still looking to short. You're looking to short off. Um, Sort of off levels and uh, look for the swing lows those are the ones that you're looking to pay attention to and that could be on the 15 minute on the hour there's not much on offer um, but I'd be very wary of the shorts so shorts would be short-lived reject the level look for it to move to the next level the minute you start forming a, a higher low um, I would be very cautious of jumping in on shorts again so that's kind of the view that I've got here uh, just looking at the daily, it's two daily red bars. Oscillators eased off quite nicely. Uh, you know, you can, we are sort of meandering up. And you can see the 50% and 61.8 Fibonacci is all the way down here in this cluster. But if you just look to the left, uh, let's just get rid of some of this noise. Look at that. So if you just look to the left and have a look at what daily structure we have here, and you can see the next bit of structure is pretty much what we were talking about. And uh, just drop down there, there it is. So you can see all these tails in this area. 
So I would expect something to materialize in this area. So, and it's very, we are close. Trend is up on the daily. Oscillator has eased off quite nicely. So um, I'd be very wary of chasing shorts unnecessarily. So uh, short scalps, and then you're looking for you're looking for a reversal. So um, if you do see the reversal, then you need to swing your, your positions immediately and start looking for the moves to the upside. So anyway, uh, another day of earnings, uh, quite a few earnings. I think Amazon's today, so probably nothing really, just more volatility till after the market opens. Um, and then we'll see where we go from there. Anyway, that's kind of my view for today. Be careful, keep those stops really tight. And uh, the minute you start making higher highs, even in this situation here, uh, I left all of this alone yesterday, purely because there was no decent structure for me. Anyway, hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.